Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode three of Shattered Kingdoms, the bright, blessed day. Can you believe it? Uh, I believe it. It's a perfect jumping on point. Time. It is a perfect jumping on point because we're going to go somewhere new. Right. Unless we don't, but that's not my fault. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, these people. Uh, uh, which, who I will introduce right now. Um, uh, uh, we have uh, Timothy playing Darmid, a uh, Circle of Stars druid. Uh, Cece playing Nor, and what kind of elf? You picked sea elf, right? Half sea elf? Half, half sea elf. Half yeah. sea elf monk of the astral self, because it's got multiple arms. Uh, and uh, Marty playing Umi, who's a warlock sorcerer in Sorcerer Warlock. In that order? You took Sorcerer, so you had the con save, right? Yes. Okay. I think Yes, I think technically it's Sorcerer Warlock okay. as the build. Um, uh, and Sorlock. custom background, but I'm human enough. Yeah, yeah I, I look human, mostly. Yeah. Um, uh, two episodes ago, in the, at the end of our very first episode, a giant storm surrounding the only home these people have ever known fell and now the whole wide world is open um so uh they set sail uh they encountered um some uh people similar ish to them uh in a lot of ways they they appeared human they spoke the same language they had some clear similar roots in their religion but there was a schism at some point, and uh, they learned that this had been their sixth holy land, um, and that there were five other islands in the immediate area, and then still as many islands, or so many islands, uh, scattered around the world. Um, so everyone got a long rest, so that's good. Very good. Um, and uh, the sun is shining bright now. Um in a way that also, uh, just like before, where uh, the night sky had kind of seemed so expanded uh, and so many more stars, the sky, it's just so bright. Like, it's just like, you don't sort of have that, that constant, like, darkness in the periphery, like, on the horizon. Now it's just bright and open and probably hurts. And this is technically the first we've seen the horizon in the day. Yes. So, I mean, we've yeah. seen further like, during sunset or whatever, we saw further than we've ever seen before, but now you can actually see further than you've ever seen yes. before, right? Like, yeah. That's what I was just thinking is, have we experienced, like, sunrises and sunsets, really? Because, like, would the storm be, like, occluding them before? Up here to over there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, it's, yeah, it's very, not, never like a proper sunrise or sunset. Mm -hmm. It's, you can see kind of the, the edges of it, you know, the sky turns pink. Uh, uh, you know, red sky in morning, sailor stick morning is still like a common aphorism. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a lot harder because it's just like eh, it's kind of red a little bit at the edge. <laughs> That's orange. Eh, debatable. Red sky in <laughs> mid morning, sailors take warning. <laughs> sailors take mid warning. Yeah. Um, uh, um, as, uh, the, the servants of Evan, as they call themselves, the Evans mm -hmm. for short, um, uh, were cultists is maybe not the nicest word, but cultists dedicated to only Evangeline. They believe that, uh, she is the only true God. Uh, and they, she, they told you that, uh, the islands around here are Alton to the west uh which has um mostly tieflings and dragonborn uh, they're mo they're uh, the, uh, the evans are predominantly human a couple half humans thrown in a couple uh full orcs and full elves as well um uh alton are predominantly tiefling and dragonborn they kicked them out the spring shield island just a little bit further to the west from there predominantly dwarves halflings gnomes they kicked out the servants of Evan. Uh, so there was a lot of bless their heart, they'll find the way kind of rhetoric 
um, Paylark's Waste to the south, which they said was full of monsters. <laughs> now, none of them seem particularly classed in any way. So, you know, monsters might be big rats. Sure. Hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and none of them would have been alive when they went there. Like, it's been 200 sure. years since they left th- that area. So, um, and uh, as uh, uh, a reminder on both this stream and uh, Gracefall, uh, elves are long lived, but they are not eternally lived. They live to be like 150 kind of max. Mm-hmm. Right. Eladrin are the only ones who have like traditional crazy long lifespan and they're very rare. Um, uh, to the north is Rayton, which had shadow vibes. Uh, it did not pass the vibe check. Um, and Terrassa, which is, or Terrassa, yeah, Terrassa, uh, which is, uh, where they originated from and were kicked out of. They said it was, it was, they, they kind of describe it as like less pretty than this island basically, but like kind of similar. It was a lot of. Um, <clears throat> it was an agricultural society, uh, but, uh, pretty unassuming until they got sick of, like, these people for whatever reason. Maybe it was the burning down all the coffee fields or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Not cool. Um, so looking at the map, uh, well... We wouldn't have a map, though. You can make a copy of their map. Oh, okay. Again, this map is 200 years out of date. Uh, Sure. Sure, sure, sure. But islands probably don't change that much. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, Alton is now New Tieflandia. (laughs) And Springfield Island is New Tieflandia, too. (laughs) Yeah, so, uh, question. Have we, like, in the the Gale-Packed Islands, are Mm -hmm. there, like, a lot of Tieflandia? Uh, I, a lot. I mean, there, there is, there are, there are tieflings. You would know what. Okay, a so we we've okay, we've heard of them before. Uh, okay. The only, basically, the only like playable race in Dungeons and Dragons you probably are unfamiliar with is a Warforged. Okay. Uh, but even if there aren't a lot of them, you've met like lizard folk, and or maybe not met, but you know they're lizard folk, grung. Uh, even the kind of weirder or the, the more weirder is not fair. I love both of those. Uh, the more rare, uh, mm. races, uh, and species exist, uh, even in small communities on the Gale Pact or if they like, yes, they exist. Okay. So kind of the closest ones it's looking like are Palark, Swayce, and Alton, um, could swing by Palark's waist and see if it's too much for us. And then we could swing up and do a loop. That could be a very harsh lesson, but I, I do like the efficiency of going one way, one wind around. Um, but as I was saying a little bit pre-stream, I think going to Alton and getting some more intelligence from less religiously devoted folk uh, might tell us a lot more about both uh, Wright and, and Paylark's wastes here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm down for it. Like I said, I'm kind of in the mood to throw some dice. So if you guys want to be like, let's throw a rock at a beehive. See what happens. <laughs> you have my, uh, my and, implicit support. Um, and while I was, while I said it a bit facetiously, if you go to Paylark's waste, you'll get a level. Oh, like okay. it's a guaranteed level. Yo, DMs. Well, wait, why? Because what do we have to do? What? Do we have, do we have to fight a kaiju? Because I'm just saying, um, you'll get at least a level. You for sure earn enough experience points to go okay. from level three with no experience <laughs> points to level probably five, six, maybe seven. Okay, okay. If you Terrible. survive, well, we we didn't get any experience from the uh, the opening dungeon. Nah, it's a tutorial. You, they take away our items. Nah. <laughs> Man. They didn't oh, take away like the training at the end without of getting episode. paid for training. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Benefits don't I kick mean, in until 30 days. Mm-hmm. We could just kind of like 
sail close enough to see what it's about and if we see giant godzilla monsters walking around then maybe turn around and go to alton yeah alton's got a lot i mean i'm presuming the main landmass of alton is where all the action is but there's certainly a long peninsula uh at the bottom there too um maybe spring shield island was once part of alton just from topography of it um yeah i you know what i don't hate your thinking there uh are where on Evans, Sylvania are we? Are we You are kind of at the um like the What part of the chicken nugget yeah, are Yeah, because it looks like a chicken nugget. You're kinda of on the, the Okay, so if the I'm trying to think which you're at like the top hump. Okay. You're you're above the top sill. Hump of the nugget. You're so, above the okay. sill in Evans Sylvania. Oh okay. Okay. We might have just as much uh, time going north and west to, to Alton, but I am fine with kind of scouting by the Paylar's Waste. Um, uh, yeah. you know, and like you said, if it's a bunch of kaiju and, and shouldn't you be on Monster Island with Waspora and the rest, then we can kind of be like, nope, we'll see you in a level or three. Um, or again, might give go to us... Alton and be like, are they, are they sapient and capable of trade? Um, well, but I, I'm also thinking that maybe if we just take a take a peek, it might give us more information of what exactly to ask about, or also like kind of a a, a zero mark to go from, because um, the Evans <laughs> are kind of yes. They've got their own world view of uh, things. <laughs> to establish more of a gauge, right? Yeah. yeah. We have one, we gotta... one point established. Yeah. Let's get another point of reference. Yeah. we got to create a scale. At least, I, right? I think it's exactly. slightly myopic. We can presume that from the conversation so far as well. And again, maybe they think, right? they think monsters are a certain color of people. So maybe we should just give it a buzz. <laughs> just give it a buzz real quick. So yeah, I go down the east coast. We need some. Uh, we're gonna grab a couple road pineapples. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, I guess uh, go down the Esterly coast here and do a do a wide circle. Um, okay. Do a swing. Start the sea around the. Now I don't know if you guys noticed this, this but the JPEG is named the Central Reach. Yes. It actually has me very very interested in some of. Uh, but does that, do, do we naturally assume that the gale patch is the center of the map? But maybe it's not the center of the map. It might actually work. Like, anyway, I have more than one question. Although if it's a globe, which the Earth is traditionally, I don't know who well, needs to hear that. Interesting uh, thing. So uh, when I was well, in allegedly. Japanese class, uh, I had a teacher that he grew up in Japan and then he uh, moved to America. And he was saying that when he first moved to America, he was really confused by all the maps because all of the maps that he grew up with japan was the center of the globe <laughs> and in america it's america <laughs> typically so he was like wait your maps are all wrong why isn't japan the center of the globe <laughs> where the sun rises you dingus <laughs> it's the only country with four distinct seasons That's they'll right. have you know that <laughs> Don't I mean, think about it, Andy. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Spring That's is one of different their claims than fall. Fame. It's different than summer. Different... I'm in Pennsylvania. It's the same latitude. Yeah. No, they're the only country with four distinct seasons. Yeah. You mean the only country in and of itself? What? No. It's <laughs> not even true. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know what, Japan? We're going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, technically. You're the first to claim it, so I Probably. guess technically you get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, sorry. Yes, no, no, that's, I love that because yeah, everyone thinks they're the center of the world. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um. So yeah, let, let's start the big C, or maybe we're high enough up that we've made a G technically already. Um. And just cruise by that north coast. And if we're so inclined, we can kind of dip into that bay to get a closer look at the actual land. Okay. So, uh, can I get perception checks? Say no. We all say no. He can't do anything. 
but then we don't perceive anything. So hey, darn it. I don't. I didn't do very well. So. Am I not playing a wisdom character, guys? So you I am, and characters. I rolled terribly. Uh, I got an eleven. I rolled an eight, so okay. eleven. Eleven, Marty. Uh, I have a real uh, sack lunch thirteen. Okay. Could be worse. And nor. Nineteen. Nineteen. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. There we There's go. There's the whiz character, or the well, the <laughs> secondary whiz. Yeah. Uh, it's too much sun. Um, too that's clear. too bright for me. I use all four of my hands. There we go. That's why. To cover your <laughs> that's eyes. That's why. <laughs> uh, you have an extended brim. <laughs> Ours are too shallow. I don't yeah. know. Hands aren't thick enough. They're like double, uh, double wide. <laughs> like, like Umi double tries to put them over <laughs> Dharmids to be like, is it helping? <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to drive. What? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 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 um, you, you get on my head like a brim you're like planking on the top of my skull what are you doing um, okay so something else you notice as you're not to add to your uh, where to go as you're passing down towards Paylark's Waste you can see another island <laughs> over uh, to the southeast uh, well there's going to be a bunch uh, okay. so I'm sorry I see. Uh, there might, it might even oh, be in the don't there's there's a couple more peeking in yeah it did not make but there's the, one to the northeast cut yeah yeah there's one to the southeast basically parallel to paylark's waste okay um so the, to the southeast of evansylvania um well <laughs> it's not a part of the circle so we'll never go there no <laughs> <laughs> um I prefer my world to be divided into squares. So um, I'm gonna... It's free Treasure <laughs> Island. <laughs> and... Free level island. <laughs> you get five levels just for going there. Um, but only if you have the free discount code. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, <laughs> um, you get a level five hero today or something. Yeah. Um, thanks for telling me about it, John C. McGinley or whatever's happening. Um <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okay. uh, paranoid, I was <laughs> muted. Um, uh, you approach Paylark's Wastes, and um, you... It doesn't look nice. Let's just say that. Um, it's... You can see in the very distance what looks like an active volcano mm -hmm. uh, that may be triggering for some members of this crew. <laughs> Who was home? Keep covering was, your eyes for me. Maybe it was yeah. destroyed by an active volcano. Maybe. Um, uh, and then it's just kind of a wasteland. Like you don't see, this is probably the first time you've really seen a place without trees. It's an island island situation. It's, it's properly named. It's properly that. named, yes. <laughs> um, gotcha, and gotcha. it looks like as you get closer, you can see like you're like just like dinosaurs just everywhere. Oh. So there's smoke and like fumes and roaming dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's like that Fantasia. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We can probably wait. Right. You, you can see a meteor coming just... Yeah, right. Just... <laughs> uh, exactly. How close do we have to be to... Meteors coming. Get experience from any of them starving. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, put the final hit in on them. Yeah, yeah. Like You just, just prevent them from being able to eat. One milky eye turns to you and begs for death. You know, that kind yeah. of... You're shooting scorching rays or whatever plant life is left. Just be like... Right. 30... Lighting everything around them. Our kill. Like 30 stealing. episodes. They're like about to bite something. You snatch it out of their mouth. That's right. 30 episodes from now, your level just tings and you don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, we've made Paylark's way sad. Um, it was a, such a joyous place before. Yeah. 
I am. I mean, I'm curious, and I'm an explorer that, at heart. Uh, do we think the dinosaurs did this? Maybe. It was we need to hold them accountable. Really started to go. Right? <laughs> you see, one of them invented an internal combustion engine and just turn it on and leave it running for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Paper money and this humidity. And um, you see another one turn to you and go, it's a living. It's this little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Shrugging. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> all of their appliances. I'm imagining okay. him with like a briefcase as well, like for some reason. The Flintstones <laughs> is a capitalist nightmare, obviously. Yeah, uh, it's, like, it's a yeah. warning. Yeah. It's a um, warning. Oh, no, that was the end of the TV show Dinosaurs. That was literally. I very briefly considered making them all wearing like suits and ties and like <laughs> just dinosaurs with like little briefcases and just. <laughs> They're monsters, but they're like capitalists. So sure, sure. It's but just who are the real monsters? They're government right? men. It's yeah. That's why they're, it's not they're that Pinkerton they're agents. It's that they're monsters. They're monsters. Yeah, yeah, they're really going to gouge you on the landing fees and yeah, everything. You know. Think about it. But no, just um, big old dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are fun. Yeah, Two fifty no, for a side of mustard. <laughs> what? That wasn't listed on the menu. Genie Plus is how much? <laughs> well, I mean, I do like fighting dinosaurs. I, I, I... Do you think we could take a dinosaur, though? Yeah. It's a little more small. Sure. I need to look at them. <laughs> I need to look at all of them so that I can turn yeah. into them <laughs> Just circle That's the true. island and Darwin's just... <laughs> just... Okay, we're good. Got it. I get my sketchbook out. It. Just drawing. <laughs> yeah, check. Orange, check. I, Okay. Yeah. Hang on. It's a little too smoky. I have to wait. Yeah. Legitimately. Okay, and got it. All right, moving on. A lot of these look very similar. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, I think I can probably so, rip Can it. I mix and match? Can I Tyrannodon arms and, like, Allosaurus legs? Does that count? <laughs> I mean, they're technically all the same thing, right? Can right. I, I mean, right? some of these, right, we were saying are, like... They're all like just anyway. the devil to trick us. We all agree. Um... <laughs> devil i I'm, I'm 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 at player level right now but i i think we should move on to alton yeah first and gather more information um but see if I'm, anybody else has tried to go beat up a dinosaur and how did it go yeah um we're we're here yeah i know we are here. <laughs> There's three of us. And maybe maybe, maybe just them. one dinosaur real quick. Right. If we <laughs> just for the road. <laughs> dinosaurs famously solitary uh, in their mind. What if it's a, what if we don't even have to leave the boat? What if it's a plesiosaur or something? Like, look on the bright that, side. Yeah, is there any airborne ones? Oh, oh yeah. Pteranodon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, yeah, okay. So they're all, but well, they, they're, yeah, they're mostly not inland. They're not. Inland. Yeah, it's very. They seem very uh, confined. Okay. Is there any sign of like a large gorilla who might be in charge? <laughs> large and in charge a gorilla. You can see little gates closed that just say Jurassic Park. <laughs> right. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, you do not see. They look like a skull at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, Thank you. Skull Island. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is Samuel L. Jackson around? He's very intensely looking into the camera, and there's a lot of slow mo. You think this movie is like ninety percent slow mo? Oh mm. shit! And they cut out all Side of Tom Hiddleston's character it. development. Oh no! Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Way to pad your running time. It's uh, they cut out all Tom Hiddleston's character development, which is a shame because he had a cool backstory. It's I like it, but I like giant monster movies. Uh, you'll root for King Kong. He's right. <laughs> he's right. That that much I can confirm. He is right. I always root for Kong. Yeah, he's always right in every every iteration. Kong is always right. Uh, you cannot see a giant gorilla. Uh, although my favorite, one of my favorite lines from Kong is when they first encounter Kong. They're like, "What is it?" I'm like, "It's a giant ape." Do you guys not know what apes are? Like, you've certainly seen a gorilla before. Yeah. It's just pretty big. Like, 
it's not Godzilla where you're just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> well, that's Scale just a giant that. lizard. Come on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, most of us figure it out. And we come up with like, oh, there's a giant ape in there, yeah. or there's a big guy in there, or there's a dinosaur in there. Right. No, there's a nuclear allegory in our shores. <laughs> Quick run! Or a croc crocodiller, allegory yeah. crocodiller, one of the two. You can tell by um, the teeth. <laughs> What's the difference between an allegory and a metaphor? Is the teeth? Is the teeth <laughs> for sure? True. For sure. Um. Uh, well, how how close are we to a dinosaur? As close as you'd like to be. Hmm. They could be good eating. They kind of, if you get, if you do get a little close, we need to upgrade our boat. A bunch we... of the dinosaurs do kind of look at you like very curiously, like, "What is that?" Okay. <laughs> Can I cast no. speak with dinosaur? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure speak you with can. The animals? Dinosaurs are beasts, right? right? Sure. I think we can do that. So first level, uh, Stegosaurus. Beast. Sure dinosaurs wanna, are beasts. Sure, you want to befriend them? Uh, well, be like, what's just, up? <laughs> maybe the maybe I get a like an excuse to pick a fight with them. Oh. To talk with what them. What if they're just friendly first. dinosaurs? We're That's assuming. I mean. I'll make friends with them. I don't need to fight them. I've you know, seen too many lands I could before. I a level by conquering them with love. There's like fourteen of those movies. There, there are a lot of them. You can just search for dinosaurs in D&D Beyond. It's never been easier. There's a filter for it. <laughs> Fantastic. The type? Um, it's a su- yeah, it's a dy- it's a it's a subtype of beast. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's one of those parentheticals. Beast yeah, parentheses or, yeah, dinosaur. dinosaur. Um okay. So, yeah, if I can, I'll cast speak with dinosaur. Okay. Uh, yeah, kind of as the boat's approaching, you can hear a bunch of the pteranodons squawking. Just mine, 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 mine. They're fighting oh. over a fish. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm not up on my dinosaurs. I'm, I'm, I'm not a 10-year-old. Uh, no, so that's they keep good. Cha- they keep changing all of them on me. Yeah. But <laughs> a big, long-necked one, whatever they're called now, <laughs> kind of... Mm-hmm. From the shore, kind of lowers its head, and it's just like, "What are you?" Oh, hi. We're um, we're uh, humanoids. Um, I'm I'm Darmud. Uh, this this is Nor, and this is Umi. Um, we're just coming by. Um, how long has has your island been all smoky like this? Uh. My father's father's lifetime. I see. I see. Okay. Um, how how do you eat plants? Uh, and kind of okay. kind of sticks his arm, sticks his big head into the ocean and pulls out a bunch of seaweed. Oh, mm. nice. That's good. It's environmentally friendly. I see. I see. So there are no humanoids on your. Land? Nope. Just like you. Is there a giant ape in charge? Large and in charge? Bong. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. He used uh, tools. Very bong, impressive. Bong, yeah. is bing, bong is Bing. I see. Uh, bing bong. Uh, uh is there is there anything uh, you you particularly like or don't like? Seaweed. Just you like seaweed. Anything you don't like? Jeremy. Oh, which one's Jeremy? <laughs> kind of glares at some some other brontosaurus <laughs> chatting up a girl like. Oh no! <laughs> Look, do you want do you want me to take care of Jeremy for you? I mean, 
why would I want someone I don't like to be taken care of? No, you know what I mean. No, you don't know what I mean because I'm not being clear. Would you like me to take care of your problem with Jeremy? Like talk to him? Sure, or, you know, sure, talk to him. Okay, I'm guileless. <laughs> you are? <laughs> Is that guileless? Okay. Yeah, it's spelled like, like it sounds. Right. <laughs> you bet. You bet it does. <coughs> I love it. Guileless? Um... Tell Jeremy that if he asks if I've seen the show and I say no and he goes forward to explain his favorite part of the show, it doesn't make sense to do that. Why did you ask? <laughs> he says no spoilers, but then he spoils something. Why? <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy. I was going to see Jeremy. that cave painting next week. He knew. Uh, Not a big deal. It's the end of the movie. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. They're at Iron Man's <laughs> funeral, right? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, J- J- Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy's like, Jeremy. as Jeremy seems kind of cool. He's got a leather jacket on. No. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy kind of, hey. Probably. Whoa, you're weird. Where's all hey. your feathers and scales? Um, well, we I don't now. like We're to cool. flaunt that. I, I, can, I can do feathers <clears throat> and scales, but, but, but I, don't, I just don't feel like it right now. Um, uh, cool. Not much. But I wanted to ask you, Jeremy, if you could just lay off of um, Gylas's, you know, territory. Um, I think that you're impinging on his vibe. I don't see his name anywhere on it. Making him sad. What well, no, it's it's more of a it's more of an energetic thing. It's more about being compassionate. You know. If you had told me that we were going to face Brontosaurus bro, sorry, bro, bro Brontosaurus Brontosaurus tonight, I would have lost that bet. I would have lost that bet. It's a social I mean, puzzle with dinosaurs. If, if you... um, He'll say, uh, I don't see what's in it for me, though. Oh, well, what might be in it for you is your continued existence. No, man, I think, therefore, I am real cool. What if you stop thinking? Then you won't be anymore. Because if, if you think, therefore, you are, if you stop, right? See, it's happening. It's already happening. Oh, no. You're getting fuzzy on me. Yes, you're getting fuzzy on me. <clears throat> Persuasion. <laughs> yep. Yep. Persuasion. Yep. Seventeen plus. Oh yeah. Uh, I got nothing extra. Seventeen. Seventeen's pretty good. Not, uh, Let's see. Poor guy with no charisma. Yeah. Um, I, J- uh, Jeremy's just kind of like, man. Way better spots on this island anyway. Later days. Hey, buddy. Um, I, I feel Dallas. like some kind of predator might be more sporting. <laughs> Maybe. I, I wasn't very sporting. Yeah. Um, Guileless comes up and he says, Jeremy's leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Have I, some I, seaweed and starts putting seaweed thank you. on your on the boat. Oh, I love this. Oh, uh, this is great. No, this is really rich. This is good. A lot of food. Thank you. That's good. Try this. Let's see. We, we don't want to capsize. Just yeah, now. that's more of what I was thinking. <laughs> do you have, have you do you have visitors come to your your island ever? Oh, I've Are never we the seen first? Anybody? Wow. My, so, some, maybe somebody before me. Hmm. We have. Is this just you speculating, or do you know for sure? Do you have stories of visitors? Uh, sorry, 
Liz in chat just said, I'm a little disappointed that Timothy didn't kill a dinosaur by telling it not to think anymore. I had to approve the phrase, <laughs> kill a dinosaur. <laughs> this is the kind it's of Twitch. <laughs> moderation that takes a person. <laughs> um, Amazing. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Timothy. What did you say? That was very. It came up. And it was a weird pop up. I was very distracted. No, no, it's it's good. Uh, 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 if there's a if they've had any stories oh. of visitors coming, like, or is it like was only like maybe someone before you was that speculation or was that like wait uh, a minute maybe I remember. He says that that many that his you know his grandfather basically would uh speak of tiny scaleless ones who came in big hollowed out shell but we all thought he just drank too much of the you know fermented pineapples yeah right. mm. yeah we have some of those if you'd like some i never touched the stuff myself okay it's all right <laughs> It's good. It's I have a predisposition to be addicted to fermented pineapple juice. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, because of your grandfather. Because of your my grandfather. grandfather. Right. It's right. I That's saw true. the da the damage it did to his relationships, and oh, too much of the still water. <laughs> That's, I, That's really hard. Yeah, we just keep it around for religious purposes. So, um, you're my anyway, friend uh, now. You're my friend now. I really like you, Gylas. I like you too, Darmud. You did introduce yourself. Yeah. Yes. I, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was with, trying to remember. With, here, I'll, I'll do <clears throat> some slight wild shape to get myself, like, I don't know, lizardly neck frills or something to, like, wave, maybe. Yeah, see? Your form is an affront to God. Oh, no, shit. Shit. <laughs> <Back to it. laughs> Roll for initiative. We all die. <laughs> it's going so well. So are we just like... <laughs> is it Narnumi just chilling in the boat next to him while he's like... <laughs> yeah, you guys had to roll like deck saves to dodge that seaweed probably, right? Yeah, whoa! Yeah. Incoming! We're like, is oh. this going well? Or... <laughs> is this working? Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm like trilling and whatever... <laughs> Brachiosaur. Um, I think this is the first one back, and the other one seemed very perturbed. <laughs> Don't. Worry, it's all right. It's good. Well, it, I can use I, seaweed. Maybe not this much, but it's a lot. You know. <laughs> it's well. It's it's a gift. It's a gift. Oh, okay. Oh, I always have no to a gift. Right. Yeah. Don't look a gift Brachiosaurus in the mouth. You know. Yeah. No. It, that could go badly. Um, so, all right, this is good. Is there anything? Hmm. Hmm. How big is your land? Is it large? Could you travel for days and nights before you get to the other side? Yes. Yeah, and, uh, um, he will not be able to, uh, uh, convey this to you, but comparatively, it's it's bigger than any island you've seen before. Okay. So, and we see, like you said, there's a volcano that's mm -hmm. active in the distance. Yeah, way. Like, what, so far inland, and therefore high because we can see it, mm -hmm. and it's plume, right? Mm -hmm. Is it like a lot of smoke, or just a little bit of wispy in the distance? The activity? E it's it's like a decent I mean, you would say it it it's kind of blending to the clouds at a certain point so it is just it's mm -hmm. just a white plume it's not like active mm -hmm. spewing but it's like clearly active in some capacity but right, you would, right, right. you would not be like alarmed by it well you might not be umi i don't i don't know how she feels about this but have some seaweed not, not loving it it has a it's calming tough. effect, yeah. It's full of calcium. Yeah. <laughs> Iron. It's good. Iron rich. Uh, so this is interesting. Like, hmm, there's plant life. We, we've made at least one friend. 
and I mean, we could go inland and, and explore. I mean, there might be, like, like we've been sort of chatting. If there's ruins in one place from earlier, there may be more to discover. Um, you want stone you shells? Ask- hmm? You want stone shells? Big Do stone shell? Sh- big stone shell where? Just starts a try. <laughs> it, <laughs> just inland. Oh, okay. Stone shell. Hey. Stone shell. Wait, Gallus. Should we? <clears throat> I mean, so far they seem chatty, so I think we're probably okay. That one right? looked like it was definitely going to hit a jukebox to get it to play a song, but otherwise, it was the, the, pretty, the Fonsasaurus pretty chill. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Why not? We got this far, <laughs> right? Follow okay. this uh, Trotting this Gallus. dinosaur to a second location, I guess. Right. Do we, we find out? We find out he's he may be guileless, but this doesn't mean he's not understood. Yeah. Do we have a way of anchoring offshore? Because I don't know that I want our boat to be stolen by a bunch of crafty raptors. <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> but think about that campaign. <laughs> Late, late capitalist goals. Crap. Um, raptors. That's the name of the campaign. Just right a there. raptor with uh, a jaunty pirate hat askew. <laughs> screaming. Shoved, shoved into its like little belt. Um, it's got a little like hook hand. Exactly. And like a little pteranodon on its shoulder like a parrot. Um, uh, only Darmid understands him he's saying, Classic mistake! <laughs> <laughs> they just got those crazy horse eyes. Paylarks Bay is no place for travelers. <laughs> Quit looking. Wait, what? <laughs> second punt. Um, and he's like this big, you can just punt him. Yeah. Uh, the actual Dynamicus isn't that bad. Well, I say we, that as one not being killed by one. <laughs> We could, I mean, we could anchor a little. You, you want to tie off offshore? I mean, I'm just, yeah, it, we've and beached then, previously. Then, do we have the capability of... Yes, sorry, I, I forgot that that was actually a question. Yes, yes, yes you do. Yeah. <laughs> we can anchor, swim a little bit, and, and follow Jeremy. Or no, Jeremy's the shitty one. Uh, we can guileless. follow Guileless. Guileless, I love Guileless. Uh, yeah. Wait, Guileless. Kind of, We've been guaranteed a level. I'm getting a level out of this. It Let's will go. just stop. Whoa. Or he will just stop. Oh, sorry. Can no, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I, I mean, I can swim and breathe and, and whatever. Also, I presume we're, we're close to the bay. Are we at one of the points of the bay? Are we in the bell of the bay? Wrong the... window. What window am I looking for? I'm looking for this one. Yes, you're, yeah, you're in the bay. Okay. Then yeah, I am certainly capable. I mean, I can, I can breathe underwater and stuff too. But uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, we all feel confident we can get to shore with just a little. I would be waiting. shocked if any of you could not swim. If that was like a deep seated character flaw, it's like I never learned to swim. <laughs> uh, Darwin has a really great plot hook that water is trying to kill him, uh, and I love that. And it's true. It's after me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, want, she wants me. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's follow Guileless to Stone Shell. Um, okay. So uh, Guileless starts to trot. He's giving you a little tour. Uh, <laughs> he kind of you know arcs his neck, and he's just like, "That's where you know the T Rex family lives. They're out hunting. Ooh. That's the pen okay. of viper, or uh, not? Yeah, that's the pen of vipers, and you can just see like kind of oh, a bunch okay. of little snakes." Um, uh, and every once in a while you do see like a as you get further in you do see some trees that that are growing coconuts and pineapples and um, pineapples uh big uh big like uh, bubbling hot springs um and yet towards the center or, or, or as after traveling for a bit uh further closer to the center uh the volcano is still in the distance Yet there's this big, um, for lack of a better term, shell. It's but it's clearly made of worked stone, and it's mm. kind of like the um, 
it's kind of a big dome, like a almost like a sports stadium dome. Dino oh. Arena. <clears throat> right. And it but it looks like made. Yes. Are there any kind of markings or anything on it to indicate, like, what kind of craftsmanship or... Oh, yeah, sure. I, I uh, Give me a perception or investigation check. Anybody can do that. Ooh, uh, dirty 20 <clears throat> perception. Excellent. Uh, 21, 21 per perception. Perfect. Umi, now. No, thank you. Too many bushes. <laughs> Umi. That's a dinosaur. Is everyone... Yeah. <laughs> Is everyone seeing the dinosaur? It's a giant clam, everybody. I'm not sure why we're... Um... At this uh, scale, it's imperceptible to me that it's a li- not a living thing. Uh, but no, uh, 20 and 21, Darmid and Norn, mm-hmm. you both, um... Quickly inspecting it, uh, you can see very, very faded. It's very difficult to see, and you kind of have to wipe off some moss even. But carved into it, does do either of you speak giant? No. No. I have primordial. I've got primordial. celestial, dwarvish, elvish, and halfling. Uh, and comprehend languages is not one of my... Sp- Seem to true. Uh, <coughs> so common, deep, and primordial. Uh, uh, primordial high five. Using yeah. a common, so so giants written in dwarven characters. So so nor you understand like the words; they just don't mean anything to you. But mm-hmm. kind of saying them aloud, giant does have a lot in common with primordial spoken. It is kind of this weird mishmash mm. language. So, mm-hmm. uh, you you basically get the idea that it's it like kind of it's a lot longer than this but but Darmid and Umi can pick out two words in particular which is blood sport so it is a sports arena what level sport? three I don't know that we can take <clears throat> away Bella. I'm saying that or it's Idris Elba big dude yes or Idris Elba um <laughs> Okay, so it. Okay, okay. Color me intrigued, Andy. I'm going to Luke Oil Bloodsport Stadium. Uh, How big is Bloodsport Stadium here? It's it is appropriately giant sized. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Somehow okay. I laughed past the giant. No, it's massive, yeah. You know, it's real big. Like it, it's appropriate to the dinosaurs. Like you all are comically small next to it. Okay, is this a real uh, giant baby situation? There, See, I'm just a dead giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's okay. so hard about that concept to understand. Um, are there big doors? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're they're grown over with a bunch of vines, but they should be pretty easy to for the for the three right. of you to clear off. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Uh, <laughs> Guileless does say you're going to go in. Okay, we Is don't go in there. A... Oh, Bing Bong says what? not to. Oh, Bing Bing Bong. Where is Bing Bong? I already forgot about Bing Bong. <laughs> This is wild. This is a wild section. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, uh, say, uh, Bing Bong has a house in the volcano. Oh, uh, oh. And how far away from the volcano at this point? Uh, he tells you like how many strides it is, and you're like, that's not helpful. You look like you're probably about two, three miles from the from the volcano. Okay, so the Bloodsport <laughs> Dome is two, three miles from Bing Bong's home. Yes. <laughs> Cost, oh, so Bing, Bing Bong's Bing. not the Bing of you. No, he's not the Bing of me. You're <laughs> right. right. The mighty Bong. Uh, the, <laughs> yeah. Bing for a day. Um, <laughs> bo 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 boo. 
He sings like Big Crosby. He's got a, um, he's, instead of an axe, he's a big ape. club that looks like a like a microphone. He's just kind of <laughs> really loose, really loose wristed. Hey, hey. hey. He's just, um, just, I'm just slurring all my words. It's like I'm not drunk. So should we? Yeah. All right. So I say Christmas has five syllables. It does. <laughs> a big goddamn uh, Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bing Bong. <laughs> Sorry. Bing Bong. So, Bing Bong, what does Bing Bong say will happen if you go in? Is there any... Uh, he says, uh, just for him, there are, loud, there are loud noises that come from here sometimes. Um, sometimes Bing Bong comes back and he... He doesn't like to openly cry, but... Guileless knows in Bing Bong's soul. He's sad. He misses others. This is an empath. Clearly. Um, okay. What will happen to us? Oh. Okay. I never thought to ask. That's good. Guileless, after all. It's very good. True to his name. True to his name. <laughs> we will. Follow up question, guy. Guileless. We will explore Gylas. And, uh, kinda, yes. Yeah, he kind of nods. Bing Bong never said you shouldn't go in. See, thank you. Thank you. I, I knew I could count on your support. Legally, I think that puts you in the clear. Legally. Yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> legally. Okay. You have, yeah. Legally, you have to tell me if I can't go in. And legally, yeah, if Bing Bong doesn't show lawyers. up in 15 minutes, you can leave. Legally. That's oh, true. that's right. Legally, that's true. It's true. I, we can get a passing grade out of this. Yeah. And Guileless is not a cop. That's Okay. He had to He'd tell us to that. Tell us. Yeah. He would have and to tell us. Legally. Legally. And Jeremy, though, is his, the under, undercover. His parents named him Guileless, and he is living up to it. Uh, yeah. It's like a <laughs> Silver Age Batman villain. Yeah. Right. Yes. He is what he says on the label. <laughs> um, but your name is Guy Illis? Because <laughs> he's the illest guy. Oh, okay. He's the illest what? Um, All right. So well, let's let's clear away some of these vines. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I'm curiouser and curiouser. I'm I'm interested what this is used for. Really sounded like you said blood sport a second ago. So like yeah. Right. I thought I heard that too. Maybe it's just well, like, like his man cave where he gets away to watch it on the tube, you know? <laughs> Still get the World Cup from the mainland. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Just go, you go in, there's a pinball machine, <laughs> a popcorn maker. <laughs> he lives alone, you know, in his volcano, but yeah. sometimes you just gotta get away. You know? Big neon like, Sometimes you just need a space for yourself. Yeah, big neon sign that says Bing Bong. <laughs> And he comes here and gets sad because this used to be the giant ape hangout, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's where he used to hang with his bros, but, you know, now yeah. his bros are gone. Yeah. Because they murdered each other one by one in a blood sport arena. Yeah. In a blood sport arena. <laughs> he should have saw, seen it coming. It, it sucks just... being the sole survivor. It's right. 2020, Andy. You know what? If fighting yourself down to the last man was a crime, we'd all be guilty. Um... <laughs> That's the, huh? Also, it's 2022. <laughs> this is getting sillier and sillier. I'm going to Bloodsport Arena. Okay. Blood Arena. <laughs> Citizens Bank, Bloodsport Arena. Um, yeah. uh, bing bong. Um, <laughs> what is happening? Um, uh, so, so, um, so you all start dealing with the vines. Um but once you deal with the vines, uh, which actually, how do you deal with the vines? Because do any of you have bladed weapons? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I have one dagger that I'd like to consider more of an athame, if we're being honest. Um, I have a short sword. Okay, so. there we go. I can do like a, blast them, but we've determined that that needs to be a creature, and I'm just slinging water at things I think we established, too, so... Uh, um, even my tentacle the deep isn't a lot of use here. Now, 
are these giant uh like are are they more would they impede a giant but are we small enough we can squeeze through the bars here so to speak or you need us to make rolls to deal with the I, I, the, the nature You don't necessarily have to make rolls. I just want to know, like, flavor. What's your like, approach? Like, what's your right. approach? No, no, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so I have, hey, a flame, uh, I have a flame blade. I could cut away these things. I mean, they are <laughs> living vines and yeah. stuff. You Listen, know? I was like, I was like, you do? The spell. I forgot about the spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what? Wait, That's what? rad. Like, what, what druid feature is that? Um, no, it's a spell. I forgot. It's a good spell. Uh, I like that spell. Um, it's, uh... You know, uh, I also have Entangle, and I have Spike Growth on my, my list. Um, I don't know if Entangle could be used to coax plants the other, the way. other way. Oh, no. See, you uh, need Detangle. Detangle. So right. I need the cream rinse equivalent <laughs> mm -hmm. of, of the spell. Yeah. Need the detangling spray, you know. Right. It's a waste of spell until now, you know. That's right. Yeah, not to talk about another system, but in... Uh, uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Uh, any spell, you can just take the reverse of it. Like, if you just know the spell, you can just do the reverse of it. So, for so an entangle, you can just be like, yeah, I move all the, I control all the vines and move them away. Yeah. Which is essentially, like, like dispelling that spell specifically. Yeah, right? yeah. But, or, mm -hmm. like, like, there's no, like, reduce spell. It's just, well, I use enlarge, except I just reverse it. So, right. I reduce mm -hmm. them. Right. Um, so, does that mean if you knew Gash and someone had cast Gash on someone, that you could remove the Gash? It's it's a very it's a very your DM makes up the rules system. Like oh, it's it's a rulings not rules game. Like that's one of their big mm -hmm. things, and it's very rule of cool. So probably, like I would probably be ruling like, ruling yeah. of cooling, rulings yeah. of coolings. Well, <laughs> not to talk up another system, but an axe handle. Uh, there's a complicated table that you can roll yeah. on to see if you can. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Axe um, handle. We already all have ash poisoning, which is a, <laughs> a 100 table that you roll on to see what kind of poisoning you get every morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this one of these hyper gritty, hyper real systems? Uh, yeah, it's us making fun of Zweihander. That's what we started making fun of. Right? Yeah, right, right. so it's it's our fake game that has a bunch of unnecessary rules, and yeah, every morning you have to wake up and roll on a tetanus chart. And yeah, right. you, yeah. you can't sleep off a dagger wound. Okay, well, roll on the tetanus chart. I could, yeah. Um... Yeah, right. that's like dying of dysentery. Dagger. So you guys deal with the vines. I'm going to run to the necessary really quickly. Okay. Um, All right. With the, a dagger? The, <laughs> it's scary. It's, it's like when you have to try and chip off ice from your car with a credit card. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't. That's that's taking it to the next level. Chris, um, Krista had to do that the other day, and I was like, you have an ice scraper. And she's like, I couldn't get to it or something. I can't remember what happened. But... Don't get some hot water from in your house. I, it it, it might have been at work or something like that. There was, um, it, was, it wasn't a scenario where it's just like, okay, that kind of makes sense. I still would have just used the ice scraper. <laughs> um, yeah, credit card, unless it's one of those like metal ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know which one it was. Um, it's not one you have anymore. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, if you wanted to try and flavor and tangle as like you're basically pulling the vines to move them into a different place, yeah, yeah, totally. Cool. Thank you. All right, I'll burn a slot for that. Okay. Uh, see. Um, and, and to answer to answer Marty's question, they're like regular sized vines. They are not. <laughs> they are not giant vines. Um, but you can also see if you did, if you do back up way up, there's, there is like a hole in the top, which is probably how Bing Bong gets in, but you mm -hmm. all aren't a giant ape. So you could climb up it. I would just not recommend it. You're going to make a lot of chips. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so, so Darmid, um, uh, magically, uh, <laughs> entangles another area, sort of drawing right. the lines off and, uh, creating enough of a of a pathway in that the doors uh, cracked up open enough, kind of forcing uh, the magic 
the release kind of, of of the thing being held together, basically holding them together. The stone even kind of crumbles a little bit around it, and you all could could squeeze inside. Great. Oh man, we should have just asked Skyless to eat that. I thought maybe he might want to eat the pile of vines I just pulled off if they're oh. if they're if they're yummy. That's yeah, they're pretty good. That, that's for you. you okay. Want. There you go. We're gonna go inside. Okay. Hey, if you hear our, like Bing Bong coming, do you want to like give a, a I don't know a bellow or something? How do you? What's your good noise to let your like let us know if if something's going on? Can you make a noise? Uh, yeah, he'll he'll yeah he'll make a a big bellowy noise that Darmid understands as Jeremy sucks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that he makes like the perfect like like bird noise like <laughs> like a little small like yeah. starling. How are, how are your lips doing that? <laughs> Just clicking. What are you doing? Um, I don't know what perfect he's saying, but it sounds very pretty. <laughs> Isn't it nice? He's saying Jeremy sucks. So. Uh, so we go in yeah so you go in and indeed it it does look like a big it's the Colosseum for lack of a better there's like a big sandy pit uh, where you can see a bunch of giant skeletons uh, with weapons there's the trident there's the net there's all the classics um there are uh, animal skeletons as well. It looks like... Uh, can I get nature checks? Sure. Ooh, terrible nature check. Or survival. Uh, survival would okay, also be... Hold on. Survival... Uh, Keep the roll. ...is a nine as opposed to a four. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll keep the roll to play fair, but I'd prefer the survival, which is 14 instead of 11. Okay. And nor. Uh, it- Ten survival. Okay. Uh, the uh, bones look like dinosaur bones, probably. You can see a big lion, uh, but that's uh, like a big lion. Like, it's big. Uh, like a giant lion? Like, or it, it's... Like, like it would be appropriately scary to a giant. I see. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, giant skeletons, uh, weapons. Uh, okay, well, it said blood sport on the door, so I don't know what I expected. Um, How big are these weapons? I mean, big. Big, like, like as big as me? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, a couple of them are 10, 12 feet long. <sighs> and, uh, so- and, and you all, you all have entered into you basically entered through like the like the participant entrance so you're on the on the um the sandy the sandy floor and you can look up and see a bunch of rows of seats mm-hmm. guy hands us a weapon okay you're on wait what huh <laughs> are they all giant sized seats yes. that's what i was going to ask yeah yes yeah, okay okay so this was exclusively for giants it seems like that this whole island was giant. It's it's a real Skull Island situation. Um, and yeah, do we they... think that Bing Bong is just a real hairy giant? Very possible. What's our we, we know most of the sapient races. What's our relationship with giants? Do we know? Do, have we seen a giant in thousands of years? Anything? Uh, they're fairy tale creatures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like okay. they climb jeep beanstalks and fee fi fo fum and. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eat sheep and so, stuff okay. like that. And so, this is all very and, uh, alarming. Yeah. So seeing these giant dinosaurs also new, mm-hmm. and hearing about the giant ape also new. Right? We haven't seen giant apes before. Well, yeah, but you would you would know. But what an since ape a giant is, dinosaur is tell, but a giant like super big. Right. Yeah. Right? You would yeah. not be familiar with that. Right, but uh, yeah. I'm be- I'm choosing to believe that this dinosaur is telling me the truth because of right. yes. he is allegorically named. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't... Yeah. Given any context from him, you're pretty sure he's telling the truth. Like, that he is yeah. literally incapable of lying. Yeah, so we right. would probably <laughs> believe more of, like, the opposite of what I just said, that maybe these myths about giants are actually just myths about giant apes rather than this giant ape is a giant. Say again? If that makes sense. <laughs> so I had said before that, like, we might think that, oh, like, Bing Bong is just a big, hairy uh, giant. But since giants are more of, like, the fairy tale creature, and this is, like, we take it that Guileless is telling the truth that there's a big ape, then we would maybe go, oh, maybe these myths and stuff that we know about giants are actually just giant apes. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I walk out into the sand pit a little bit. This is this is all pretty remarkable. Uh, we're the first people in who knows how many generations to see this. I don't know how long. Yeah, does grow. anything look like freshly disturbed or anything? Like, uh, give me a perception check, please. Yeah, any footprints in the sand? Um, if if I can debate, this is more a tracking situation. Can I get survival? Sure. Okay. Um, bum 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 bum. So a twenty-five. And here all I have is a shitty nineteen. It's trash. Throw it in the garbage. Uh, get out yeah, of here with that bullshit. Twenty-three is garbage. Pretty paltry, Timothy. Uh, no. you all. You all would notice, indeed, that for allegedly a bunch of skeletons, yet the, the the dirt seems fresh. Some of the blood even seems new. Like, it's still wet. Skeletons? What does uh, the giant ape notice? <laughs> uh, Somebody camera coming. Yeah, right. um, he's like, looking down at us going to my car alone that old saw uh, you all feel a chill before the sudden uproar of cheering as oh no, we're uh, being anastasia uh, a bunch of people <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of voices <laughs> start September here, people. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of voices start uh chanting Slost 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 Does that mean anything in primordial? Uh uh give me give me an intelligence check. Sure. Fair. Um, that, that role, what is it? <clears throat> For anyone uh, who speaks primordial, they can make me make an oh. intelligence check. Oh. Fine. Uh, I see 14. how it is. 14? Okay. <laughs> what means 20? Oh, there uh, you go. Yeah, you're like, okay, okay. The, you're like, okay, if you transpose the A, okay. Uh, they're chanting fight, fight, fight fight and and like anything visible uh chanting this uh looking around uh with with your uh the, the checks from from a minute ago you can slowly start to see a a, 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 a crowd of ghost giants just oh. <laughs> foam fingers big popcorns they they outlawed selling beer <laughs> actually so it's just bud zero um um, uh, just chanting slost, 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 slost. What's lost? Did somebody lose something in the sand? No. It, 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 the ghost giants want us to fight. Cool. I'm not clear if they want us to fight each other, or is there any ghost competitors? Oh, don't say that. He goes to lions. <laughs> uh, 
they it seems so uh they all start chanting other things like they've picked a side uh oh, okay so uh hey. using your checks from before it seems like some of them start chanting forearm 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 good for you uh uh darmud is they start chanting star lord uh, it's cool. It's cool name. And then um, <laughs> you won't. You all understand this because it's in common. They start chanting "Titan Spawn." Titan Spawn. Yep, we got a real giant dead baby situation on our hands. <laughs> Can we go one stream with giant dead baby? <laughs> um. In a situation that's like, if you don't know who the market at the table is, it's probably you. I look around for the Titan spot. <laughs> probably. Are you... I'm going to update my character document, by the way. Are you Star-Lord? I don't know. You have four Maybe. arms. I mean, think about that. Okay, that's true. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking about this all wrong. You're right. Maybe you're all three. I'm the normal one. Oh. Okay, so... Uh, really I'm, gonna, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, look at um, Nor, and I'm going to say, Nor, I'm going to fight you. And I'm going to say it in such a way that it's like, <laughs> I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> but I'm going to like, like fake wink, like I'm, wink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to fake like I'm going to take a shot at you. Um, so, uh, you know. <laughs> So, uh, oh shit, my deception check is not great. Uh, that's a five. Okay, yeah, it's not very convincing. It's very Shatner-esque. <laughs> right, right. Hey, he's very committed. Um, I didn't say you weren't I committed. I said like... it's not convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> One of those. Nice. Um, okay. So, any reaction from oh, yeah. the, Uproar. From the giant ghost? Uproar, because they also kind of oh, think boom. that you maybe fumbled it a little bit, and they're just like, this is good. Yes! Okay. Uh, your section yeah. starts to boo. <laughs> they turn on you very quickly. Right. No, it's a terrible. Yeah. Sorry, it is Citizen Spank. Blood you Arena, then. Boo! <laughs> starts having <laughs> soft pretzels and batteries. Okay. Uh, should we uh, try and keep this up, or? I think that they're gonna want to see blood in the blood sport arena at some point, though. All right. Do, do you want to like? Uh, you can punch me in the nose. That's fine. If you want to bloody my nose, that's fine. Anybody got it? Like a tomato? They're gonna know it's not tomato sport arena. <laughs> Maybe we can I wait until it's a complicated horticultural night. Wait, what? We can wait until they throw a ghost tomato. Mm. Ghost tomato. <laughs> no, I. Yumi's gonna wander a little bit, and not like so far away. I mean, it's a giant arena, but. It, you guys can start shadow boxing if you want, but she's really weirded out by the whole counting down the teams uh, and just the whole all of it of it all. Does does any of it like is any of it rousing, or are we as weirded out as this as we're allowed to role play? Like like is any of it kind of like I kind of do want to fight? Like or, oh, you are not compelled to fight in any way. No, yeah, you, okay. yeah. <laughs> react as react as you would. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm just kind of weirded out by it, but it, you guys continue. I just wanted that context. Um, uh, yeah, I'll start running through, like, drills, like, monk drills and stuff, but, you know, very clearly, like, pulling my no, punches. But no blood. Yeah. No blood? Yeah, see, they're nope. not... They're not loving that. So, uh... <laughs> so there starts to be more booing. And no. then they start chanting, blood sport, blood sport. Blood sport and blood sport. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. Um, uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Shit, Edris Alba's coming in. All right. Uh, oh, 
Passive the money. is uh, 15. 15? Okay. Uh, also 15. Passive. 15? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'm not getting anything 12. by the monk and the druid. <laughs> 12. Okay, uh, yeah. I, so I'm being once upon a December over here. I, I don't um, know. I, I think Umi's probably facing the wrong direction for this. But sure. uh, Nora and Darmid, uh, you see uh, a ghost Etten appears and reaches down and pulls out, each hand pulls up a weapon, like grabs one of the material weapons and then just pulls up a ghost version of it. So uh, Shit. Uh, a spear and a um, sword, and then they just keep chanting blood, sport, blood, sport. Blood, sport. A, a seemingly corporeal Etten. No. Is, did you say an Etten? No, 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 sorry. It, yes, it's a ghost Etten. It's a ghost Etten, and they pick up real versions of the weapons. No, but ghost, they, ghost version. They pick up. So they reach down for the real version and pick up right. a ghost version. Yes. That's rad. I love that. That's really cool. Okay, so there's very real blood in things. the sand here. Right. All right. Should we roll initiative? Yes, or? please. Uh. Okay. Bloodsport did not roll well. Shit. Well, neither did I. So I I rolled a nine. Does it look better in I full see screen? The last what time we fought, I rolled a ten. Um. Yeah, I thought I rolled a 16, but I didn't, so... Uh, it, but it makes sense. I have no idea what's going on, so I rolled a 4. Okay. Uh, let me check what... Turn around, Umi. Turn around, Umi. Great job adding a negative 1 to your score. Ooh. And Nor. 12. 12. Well, with a very mighty 12, Nora, you're going first. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, shoot. <All> relative. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> uh, I thought at a 12 it would be safe to plan. Um, it, I'm assuming that their posture is threatening. You would find their posture threatening. Oh... Uh, they start licking their weapons. <laughs> you sound so unhappy that you find their posture threatening. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to kick on. some ass. I don't want to kick any ass. Stop it! <laughs> Mom said you had to stop. It's my turn on the Xbox. Um, uh, converters. God, how do you fight a? A ghost, though, is what I'm wondering. I mean, you uh, punch things, mostly. Radiant. Yeah. I, I don't do that. <laughs> ghost punch? No. I, Your fists I do. aren't radiant? No. They, they're force. They're oh. all force, baby. Oh, force is usually... Yeah, force is good, though. Okay, well... To, to I don't think again. anything is resistant to force world. damage. Yeah, no, yeah, not to metagame Forces, too much, but... yeah, is... Yeah, if you did bludgeoning, I'd be more disappointed than force, for sure. You, you say to the monk. <laughs> yeah, your yeah, ghosts are resistant and immune to a lot of things. Damage, that would be lame. Force is not one of them. Uh, okay. Um, shoosh. Uh, yeah, I, then... saw, I saw someone on Twitter uh, <laughs> positing that elemental damage should come with like an associated status condition like not every spell does it but like fire gives you the burning oh. special condition I, the so mm. yeah. specifically yeah and then but then they were like but force is so good you just it's just you don't need to give that one like it just right. passes through so There's many immunities to it. yeah yeah, yeah. It, that it's just like the, you don't need it the only thing i would plausibly throw onto force is knocking you prone right and they they, pushing you. they said knocking prone because it's so easy to get out of too that it's just like it's a minor inconvenience for already the best damage type so mm -mm. It, was a very, it was a very interesting little list yeah all right well then i'm gonna activate my arms and go punch a ghost yes okay. 
Uh, you can use the spectral arms to make unarmed strikes and use your wisdom modifier in place of your strength or dexterity modifier for the attack. Uh, okay. Well, my my dex and my wisdom is the same, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, cool. Uh, I guess I'll do an unarmed strike a do. Okie doke. Uh, Come back. Well, that's an eight, so I'm assuming that doesn't hit this ghost. Total? Yeah. There's a mess. Yeah. Um, shoosh. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. Uh, when you use the action, uh, I can make another unarmed strike as a bonus action, though. Yep. That's right. Yep. Okay. Using your martial do... arts. Try to. A, a 20, a dirty 20. Uh, yes. It's a displacer ghost, Hatton. Oh. Uh, no, <laughs> a 20 is a hit. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do. It's a. D4 plus 3, I think? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, your martial arts die is probably a D4 at this level still. Yeah, a D4 plus 3. Uh, so 5 okay. damage. Okie doke. Uh, your force damage uh, connects to the... The and and it really sells the blow like it, it one of its heads goes oh. flying back. <clears throat> oh, it seemed dramatic. Yeah, All right. okay. ship is part of it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is, is a pro is wrestling. It, would you be fighting a ghost, Eden? Say again. Take that, haters. I said if professional wrestling wasn't real, would you be fighting a ghost, Eden? Take think, that, haters. Think about it. So when I see it kind of, like, leaning into the, the hit a lot, uh, I'll kind of raise all four of my arms up to, like, kind of get the crowd going, like, yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll start chanting four arms, they're back on your side. Yes! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Nora, uh, I think they really like you right now. Uh, they do indeed really like you. Uh, you can add a d6 to your next attack roll. Ooh. Ooh. Uh uh, Darmid. Very nice. Okay. Seeing uh, how well my cousin did and the response from the crowd, I'm going to sort of very make a big show of pulling out my astrological chart. I'm going to like consult it like I'm looking for the best way to kick ass. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at this fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, you look up Which and I you see a kid good. just lose their mind, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like that is the like, like they've been waiting oh. for you to pull out the chart, like it's your signature thing. And... Yeah. Right, right. I'm like, <laughs> uh, twenty three to hit. Oh, uh, kabam. beautiful. I think. Nice. All right, let me. It's forty six radiant, and okay. So the next attack made against it is going to be made with advantage. I mean. Um, okay. probably be you. I still haven't noticed or, them fighting yet. But... Well, you don't have to fight. I mean, the next one could be Nor. Yeah. Who attacks it. <laughs> um, Which might be bad use of it, but we'll see. Where ooh. I... All right. So that's 16 ooh, radiant nice. damage. Uh, are ghosts weak to radiant damage in 5e? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I think the only thing that is is a shadow. And maybe some custom, yeah. like special monsters, but uh, like in certain campaign settings or whatever. Yeah, but or it'll I shut. Don't, I it'll, think that's more of a 4e thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not a lot of things have uh, damage uh, weaknesses anymore. Yeah. yeah, vulnerabilities. In, there it is. in, in uh, Incorporeal things in 4e used to be vulnerable to force, I think. I think that, that makes that sense. Was a I still think you thing. get some mileage out of uh, it shuts down certain regenerations. Yes, yeah, it's it's yeah. it's generally oh, good at certainly. undead. It, it, it knocks zombies yeah. down permanently and knocks... Yeah, it, it's good against uh, vampires and liches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, right. Okay, perfect. Hooray. Uh, Bloodsport kind of 
both arms go up and now there's this glowing thing. And it does seem a little confused by like, what the hell? We didn't talk about this. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Radiant damage, not cool. Uh, uh, because of that okay, negative so one. Oh, sir, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Darmid. I just wanted to say, just bonus, uh, one more thing. I'm going to activate my starry form, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I could do. And uh, 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 I am going to, yeah, have the archer up. So there's an archer constellation uh, on my body. Uh, I guess. You see the same kid, like, shaking his dad, like, he activated the starry form! <laughs> <laughs> He's the star nerd in the group. Uh, uh, Timothy, you get resistance to your next, uh, uh, uh the next damage you take. Yay. Uh, and, Thank you. <laughs> uh, because, because Ettens have minus one to dex. Umi, you get to go before the end. Oh, shit. Did not see that coming. I also rolled uh, a four, but I subtract one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, and so the the crowd's still chanting four arms. Other than the kid, did anybody respond to? Uh, oh yeah, Darmid's, no, uh, lots of lots of people responded to that. I just thought okay. highlighting the kid was funny. <laughs> But, but no, it, 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 similarly, uh, similarly, a big, big swell of just like, yeah, we're doing it now. Okay, okay. So I turn around, so I'm kind of like, guys, whatever you're doing, keep it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. It's glowing. Oh, it's a sweet spot. Um, Get it. So I will, I'm actually going to role play this a bit that I am just gobstruck by the fact that there's a, a giant two-headed ghost monster now, and I don't know what to do. However, Ocean Tentacle knows what to do. Um, and will, uh, because I, it's actually a little unclear on my features and traits tab. Uh, actually, let me go check my action tab. Whether it's an action to summon it. I'm presuming it is. Because uh, it's usually an action to summon it. Uh, let me see. Might be part of the same oh, action. You can, yeah, you can... Uh, it works like a spiritual weapon in so much as you can summon an attack at the same turn. Um, I'm, I'm still going to consider that to be my primary... I, yeah, so if you look oh. at Tentacle of the Deep... Oh, it's a bonus action. Okay. Bonus action to summon, bonus action to move, bonus action to attack, but do you get to attack when you summon it? When you, when you create, create Tentacle, the, yep. you can make it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so the first thing that happens, I'm just like, eep! Um, yeah. But uh, instinctually, uh, even though we're this far inland... Um, uh, the ocean tries to protect me. Uh, and so uh, behind it, my tentacle boy will, uh, or girl, or they, uh, presuming the Etten's within 60 feet of me? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the ocean will kind of come up behind it and swat it. I will give the, well, this is using the advantage on the ocean, but I will take it. Uh, it uses my attack uh, bonus, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to make a general attack. Uh, let me just go back up here and... So, so does... Is it the ocean, or does it form out of just whatever moisture is around, a.k.a. the blood? Y yes. Oh, okay. Gross. Uh, probably a little bit of both. It congeals <laughs> some of the moisture, and then, yeah, some of it blood is just... Blood. Mm. Um, Booger. And then it becomes a chair. A melee, I can make a melee spell attack. So it is my plus five. Let me go to my spells real quick. Can I just make a general plus five? All right, I'm just going to add plus five to this d20 roll. And this is uh, where Umi becomes a bloodbender. And... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is not blood just human water? Um, yeah, I got a 22 on that attack. That's nice. a hit. The tentacle turns into a chair and just slams the... <laughs> All right, and that's oh, there it was. Uh, so it's one d eight plus three cold damage. Don't know if that helps or hinders. It's five uh, cold damage. Not a great damage roll. Okay. Um. And then it kind of snapping me awake to the fact that like, oh, they're cheering because we did this. Um. 
and Ocean's got my back, I'm going to... Gosh, it's a ghost. What is it worried about? Um... <laughs> what is it worried about? God. Yeah, what's, it, what's it worried about? I'm going to uh, whip out my... Uh, we've established I've got basically Katara's uh, water source here and uh, zip an Eldritch Blast of congealed water at it. Uh, oh, boy. 24 to hit. Pretty good. That's a hit? Uh, boy, two damage, though. Man, and it looks like a six. These dice are bullshit, man. Anyway, d and be honest. It's never been easier. <laughs> it's never been more bullshit. <laughs> Ugh. Sponsorship. Um, so, yeah, uh, two uh, generic force damage, um, okay. which is still pretty good. And, yeah, I've just kind of panicked. But once I, you know, I've kind of heard the the crowd or whatever, I'll just kind of touch down for myself. Like, I, yeah. Yeah, they cheer. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, now I'm into it. <laughs> now that I've gotten cheers, oh, yeah, next round's going to go a lot different. So, so you hyped up the crowd so that they would hype you up, which hyped you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta feed off that energy. <laughs> uh, Liz asked if uh, she missed a bit, asked if we're fighting a dinosaur. They're obviously fighting a ghost at and gla- gladiator named Bloodsport. That's kind of on you, Liz. I, I just, I, it is, you know. Yeah, Liz. I think that's pretty. On your face. I think that's pretty average for yeah. Yeah. Uh, a D and D game. So. It's weird that you reach for the dinosaurs <laughs> that we've established on stream already, and not the ghost at and named Bloodsport. We made friends with the dinosaurs, Liz. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, we'll have a bad night. Let's not pile on Liz. It's Thanksgiving. One named Guyless. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Uh. The uh the N uh Uh-oh. will uh be confused as to why there's like a water blood thing behind it. <laughs> we didn't talk about this. None of this is planned. Uh so it will take we talk about it will take its uh uh its weapons and bring them down on to Nor. Mm-hmm. First oh. attacks a twenty one. Oh, you know, just just barely got it. Second attacks a seventeen. Damn it! Yep. Okay. That one actually barely got it. Yeah. Yeah, that one actually <laughs> got it. Uh, the sword does nine slashing damage. Ouch. And uh-huh. oh. oh no. I've got 18 <laughs> HP left, Andy. Well, how much you want to do here? <laughs> the spear does 12 piercing damage. Yikes. Ooh. 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 right. <clears throat> that's self and that's self. Uh, is, it, is it... Oh, you did say piercing and, and slashing, right? Yes, no other. it is. Okay. Uh, no, it's not... You're, you're still all only level 3. I'm not going to hit you with anything <laughs> too, you. too weird. Other than that, is ghost, what age me or something? Gladiator. <laughs> and gladiator named Bloodsport, right? You don't want to be weird. I get it. <laughs> so uh, he has two heads. I'm imagining that he is one, a head of each Bloodsport that we referenced. One is Idris Elba, and the other is the oh, other guy. Who's the other guy? Uwe Ball. Yeah. Um, Uwe Ball. Uwe's blood. Ball. <laughs> Uwe's blood. Kill and Idris is sport. Hell. Yeah. Their heads are like still next to each other. He's doing that weird drumming action that they made the, the gif out of. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Nicality! Uh, we... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Why, Idris? Why? Um, uh... <laughs> Nor, would you like your revenge on Bloodsport? Yeah, um, so I actually realized that I action economy in my turn wrong time, but Why? it's okay, because, uh, it's so, I, yeah, uh, I keep forgetting that when I activate my arms, they actually do more than, <laughs> you know, just, Basic. 
I can use them now. <laughs> um, it, it, I was supposed to do like a big force push thing, but we'll just count the damage that I did as that because that was supposed to be my bonus action. But anyway, okay, it's good. <laughs> it still, all works out. You're still learning how monks work. <laughs> yeah, I'm still learning how. And I don't know how your monk. I I I have played a monk before, but not this kind of monk. So I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I can't it's a offer weird too one. much guidance on that one. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'll, uh, pick my guts off off the ground and, uh, do a force punch. Do a force punch. Ooh, uh, that's very good. Uh, that'll be a 22. That's a hit. Uh, what did you get on the die? Uh, 17. And did you roll your d6? Uh, no, I didn't feel a need to i could add <laughs> uh to. roll your d6 sure uh three added to that okay so that means that you technically so the way this works i'm pulling this out of my ass it doesn't matter that was a 20 <laughs> you've got a crit oh, okay you got a crit yeah oh, so. sick all right so if you get a ghost d6 and that number plus the die roll equals 20 or up before you add anything else to it that's a crit Okay, awesome. That. that makes sense. So, when I create, I'm going to be rolling 2d4 then? Yes. Okay, cool. I, got, I did not actually get this thing. Of course, I roll 1 and a 2. Uh, that's okay. Uh, so, that'll be 4 plus 5, so 9. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. curse of a monk. You do a lot. Yeah. You do a lot of a little damage. <laughs> yeah. You do a little damage often. A lot of attacks. Kabam, 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 kabam. Death by a thousand little punches. But, hey, ooh, now I can roll again if I don't drop my dice. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'll bonus action uh, unarmed strike again. And that that's going to miss. But, yeah, not even a d6 is going to save a four. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the crowd turns on you a little bit. Like, that first one was, like, so good. Oh, and then the second oh. one was just like, eh. Like, four I'll, I'll, die or four on... Uh, four, with he, modifier. four on the die. So, uh, the total? Yeah, and the stone well, that great armor class. Oh, okay. Uh, so, four, and then I got a... Say again, you cut um, out. Uh, four plus a three on the d6, and then... Plus a five. So that'll be seven, twelve. That's a hit. Oh, cool. It's 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 a big dumb gladiator. Yeah. yeah I was <laughs> that. I yeah, was it, counting myself out and roll over four. <laughs> the, the fleshy giant the fleshy lesser giants do not have good armor class. Until you get to like giants who are smart enough to wear armor, that's when it's hard. Like fire giants and frost giants, they have good armor class. These mm -hmm. dudes are just giant sacks of hit points. All right, we'll take another six force damage then. Okay, so maybe you faint. Now how's the crowd? And then did yeah. an uppercut right in his junk, right in one of his pairs of junk. Yeah. Um, his ghost right, junk. Cause... Wait, he has two oh. junks? Yeah. Well, of course, because he has two top junks. Two bottom junks. <laughs> top junks. Is one of them blood and one of them sport? Yes. I'm yeah. on yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> Um, they keep fighting because one guy wants to be sport blood. <laughs> Why you always go first? It's not fair. Uh, a huge cheer for the nut shot, the cheap nut shot. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Um, uh, so you can keep the d6 rolling. Uh, All right. Uh, Darmid, Crowd's on my side. Darmit, it is your turn. Okay. So 18. Ooh, yep. With my guiding bolts. And uh, 22 with my starry form archer thingamajig. Ooh. So this is all radiant damage. Um, so that is not great, but not terrible. 3, 11... Twenty-five points of radiant. Okay. Um, 
the crowd like ooze and ahs like it's fireworks because there's just these brilliant lights shooting across the stadium. 25, nice. Uh, this and, thing is uh, looking advantage. bad, by the advantage way. Advantage on the next attack against it. All right. He's all lit up. I just did math good. In the same same um, targeted uh, lower junk area. <laughs> the first one was like center of chest, and now you're just like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Pew! Right, it's like um, that robot chicken with the guy with the machine gun on Superman. It's like, do-do-do-do-do-do, and then he lowers it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, oh, it's getting weird. Uh, but no, yeah, uh, huge cheers. The, the kid who's like your number one fan is just like crying, like he's so excited. Um, what's his name? His name? You want to know his name? <laughs> yeah, what's his ghost name? <laughs> Ghost kid. What's this ghost child that we'll never see again? What is his name? This, you want the name of this ghost giant kid who we'll never see again? Yeah. His name is Ghost Jimmy. Come on. Uh, It's Metley, a.k.a. Ghost Jimmy. Oh, okay. Ghost Jimmy Metley. Metley. Metley's his surname. It's Ghost Jimmy Metley. Ghost Jimmy Metley. Papa, the strong man. Marty's taking note of it. Papa. Listen, in like 30 episodes, we're going to be glad that we asked that name. All right. That's right. But Whatever wait. Just a diagnosis with whatever kind of dementia is going to take me, they're going to look at this notebook and be like, oh, he had it the whole time. <laughs> That's weird. Yes, Marty. <laughs> Tell us about Ghost Jimmy. Yes, Metley <laughs> equals Ghost Jimmy. What do we ghost think that Jimmy. means? <laughs> and even you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Made sense at the time. Uh-huh. Do the voices uh-huh. usually make sense at the time? <laughs> Are the voices in the room with us right now? <laughs> Point to the voices. Uh, but who meets your turn? Points the voices. Okay. Um, I might. All right. So first, I would like to apologize to the internet. I've been saying you a bull when I do mean Bolo Young. Uh, Bolo Young is famously oh. the villain of Bloodsport. Oh. Uwe Bull makes bad. Uh, I just assumed he made a movie bad. called Bloodsport. Like, and, and you'd be right to <laughs> yeah. think so because. If he can't cast his wife in it, he doesn't know what to do. But no, uh, Boro Young is just a giant of a of an evil man. Uh, and then the uh, gif of him playing drums uh, in the Bloodsport movie. You can look it up. Anyway, so Boro Young. I, I was starting to say UA Bo, and I was like, no, that's not it. Because that's the dude who directs the bad uh, video game movies. Anyway, now that that's sorted up, out, let's professional wrestle this. Um... Oh, I kind of have a one-two punch, but I can't do it in the order I want to with the action economy. So instead... Two-one punch. Let's do the two-one punch. Uh, Again, the ocean itself, or moisture, or whatever my dead ghost baby... Moisture tentacle? (laughs) My dead ghost baby... um, Powers are. Legacy is... um, Troubling. Troubling powers. Ghost, I'm going to remember that I have uh, advantage this time. And mm-hmm, there it is. Mm-hmm. There it is. Womp, womp, That's the natural womp, 20. Womp, 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 womp. Nice. Oh, and it automatically queues up that I want 2d8. That's very uh, convenient. D&D Beyond, you're back on my good side. It has never been easy. <laughs> um, uh, there's 12 <laughs> points of cold damage, if I recall. It's a little hidden behind my windows right now. Okay. Uh, and then I will move forward as I'm kind of doing the whole are you not entertained to this crowd. I'm just kind of like, yeah, uh, right. isn't this great? <clears throat> I don't know. I've got a blood tentacle part of it, at least. That's kind of you know, they're, they're, they're Yeah, they're now eating this up. <laughs> All right. Um, Selling blood tentacles that you can... Buy and hold up in, foam, the, in foam, the crowd. Foam blood tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> like really wavy blood. Te- yeah. Um. 
Because <laughs> as as we mentioned, this is a capitalist. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what ruined their civilization. <laughs> one of the ghost giants in the crowd and wink as I try to lightning lore Ooh. Uh, the Etten 10 feet away from Nor, so it okay. doesn't automatically start uh, swinging next turn. That Thank you. is <laughs> no attack. It is a strength 13 saving throw, which has a okay. fair, uh, fairly good chance of making, but yeah, let's see. I presume. Ghost Etten might be jacked, though. Yeah, the Etten's pretty strong. Let's see. I couldn't tell by the attacks that it did on me. <laughs> right. what, DC what? 13. Sorry. Save 14. Okay. Uh, then I will, I will mug to the crowd like I don't even know what's going on right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like mind blown. Like, <laughs> seem a little confused. <laughs> What? What? I'm probably not. Have, do I have any performance? I have a plus three. And, oh, shit, I'm a charisma tank. I forgot. So I actually probably sell it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like lightning, doesn't work. lightning doesn't work. Let's see. If it succeeds, it's a cantrip, so it probably takes no damage either. It definitely doesn't get yeah. pulled. Okay. Mm. Part of me just is out. Yeah. Nothing happens. Um, and I get a 14 on the performance check you didn't ask for to sell. Okay, yeah, I mean, half the crowd's, like, into it, and half the crowd's like, uh, I mean... Look, they're here for the suspension of disbelief. I feel yeah. like that's basically making it an advantage, if we're being honest. Like, they're... Um, okay. Uh, Bloodsport gets to go. Uh, Bloodsport will... Um, Bloodsport's going to make a choice. Let me see. Bloodsport starts arguing with itself. I'm going to start making blatant okay. fart noises at Bloodsport to try and draw his attention. Uh, the last person who hit Bloodsport in the crotch is drawing Bloodsport's ire. Mm. So uh, yeah, we'll please. almost, yeah, we'll almost not quite bat away nor, but kind of like 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 almost ignoring her uh will uh take the spear kind of you know chuck it or like like throw it up to grab it and then uh toss it at uh darmid mm -hmm. uh, ac 14 18 to hiss kabam For, but i resist but you resist attack, so. yes you have very good uh so you take a total of five piercing damage resisted from Oh, awesome. Great. Um, so, like, you you just... It just does not catch as much of you as Bloodsport feels like it should. Bloodsport gestures to a, 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 a ref who has kind of come onto the field. <laughs> just like... Why? Come on! The ref's like, it's fair. They start arguing. <laughs> Uh, oh, now is he going to start beating ref. up the ref? Uh, <laughs> no, he'll kind of shove the ref aside, and uh, he will ask everyone to make deck saves. Oh, okay. should be a spectral yellow card at least. <laughs> now, now the ref's being distracted by a kid in the front row who's like clearly in it. on it. <laughs> Damn it! This tale in the well, book. I'm gonna knock him out. Uh, rolled an eight. Eight. So. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be a knock prone effect, we'll, but it's it's not going to be. You do want to save. It's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be pleasant. Well, you tell me because I definitely didn't do it with a four. Okay. Nice. Nor you, you you're very good at dexterity saving throws. I've been told. You you would think that, but I also got an eight. Okay. Nice. Uh, <laughs> We're all fucking knocked. As, <laughs> as the ref has you been distracted, uh, Bloodsport yells something in giant, which roughly mm -hmm. translates as pocket sand, and throws sand in everyone's eyes. Uh, <laughs> Everyone is blinded. blinded. Everyone's blinded. Fuck. Cool. Uh. 
Uh, An actual move Bolo Young does in the classic movie Bloodsport. <laughs> True story. We're getting closer and closer to the actual movie. Uh, I've never seen it, so... Uwe Boll's only acting credit, to my knowledge, is in his own movie, Postal, where he dies as a German dude. Movie facts. That's why you tuned in. Tune in for movie facts. Stay for the D&D. If that's Allegedly what this is. Play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Nor, you do get to go, but you will have disadvantage on pretty much Smash. everything. Okay. Can I try and clear the pocket sand out of my eye? <laughs> you can use your action to do that, yes. Uh, yeah, I think that that's probably my best bet on that one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you use your action to to get a little water, you know, flush out your eyes. It's easier for you because you have two sets of hands to do it. You can hold them open and splash water oh, yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Try and get some of that water from the tentacle in there. I got the blood. Oh, it's blood, salt water. It's blood. salt water. Oh, oh no. <laughs> blood, salt water. It's making it worse. <laughs> Everything's red and blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Grainy with sound. Oh, God. It's, like, oh, it's worse. It's worse. Um, okay. Uh, you can see. Now, would you like to move uh, or anything? Um. I am going to uh, use a key point to give myself patient defense. Oh, okay, so uh, attacks against you have disadvantage. Uh, right. And I oh, also no. have yes. advantage on uh, dexterity saving throws. Okay, yeah, you are dodging. Very, dodge is good. Um, okay, perfect. Uh, Darmid, uh, there is grainy sand in your eyes. It's terrible, but I'm going to try to attack with disadvantage. So natural twenty, <laughs> shit, and right. just do it twice. Uh, right, and a fifteen. Does a fifteen hit? Fifteen does hit. Fifteen right? does hit. It's yes. Just not a crit. Okay, so that was the starry form arrow. <laughs> okay, so four points of radiant, and then my uh, I'm gonna try guiding bolt. Okay. I'm gonna burn a slot. So my two free ones are now done for the day, mm -hmm. so I have. One more. Okay. It's a mess. Yeah. I missed. Okay. Um, okay. I'm done. Uh, can no, I rolled a 1 and a 15, so I know I missed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Disadvantage. Can, can I get a uh, wisdom save from you? There we go. Yeah. Uh, wisdom yes. is 20. No, dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Uh, uh, you muster enough resolve and kind of blink through uh, the the sand and uh, you are no longer blinded. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and Umi. Okay. Um. I, I, yeah, I, I stumble around and make a big show. Um, of the fact that you can hear a bunch, of, sand. a bunch of people being like, "Come on, Raph, come on!" <laughs> I know exactly, right? I'm I'm playing to the crowd uh, that this can't be allowed. Um, I'm going to uh, tentacle of the deeps here. Uh, considering you let me get away with my bullshit that it absorbs elements for me, I'm going to roll with the same disadvantage that I would because it says I make a... Yeah, I think you still have to be able to see it. You're commanding. Melee attack. Ooh, 17 is the lowest. That's a hit. It's a hit. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good roll. Uh, 10 cold damage. Uh, we'll uh, slam into and knock down Bloodsport. Uh, and I'll, I'll, as the crowd presumably goes wild, I will just react like, what? What? Uh, yeah, the crowd <laughs> goes crazy. The ref turns around. Uh, starts doing a both of it. Where? Starts doing a count. Uh, 
they all look to the to the topmost box with just the biggest, just slovenliest hill giant ghost does a big old thumbs down and uh yeah the the ref just snaps both of blood sports necks <laughs> i'm glad i can't see this killed twice yeah you yeah. gotta make sure uh everybody <laughs> cheers they killed him again. everybody cheers uh uh, but since Bloodsport's a ghost, he gets up and he, his, both of his necks are broken and his heads are hanging lifelessly. But he's he puts his arms up and he takes a little bow. <laughs> Everybody's a winner in Bloodsport Arena. Um, everybody's I cheering, like, and then uh, I like sports. Uh, uh, the ghosts all fade. Oh, uh, <gasps> uh, where Bloodsport once stood is a magic item. Oh. Wand of Wonder. <laughs> uh, inspiration. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you, don't, you don't get a Wand of Wonder, you get inspiration. <laughs> That's cool. Get the second. Oh, where'd the crowd go? What? I'm going to be picking ghost sand out of my eyeballs for weeks. Uh, I was wise enough to get rid of it. Mm. I was smart. I can create water. Thinking about it. Um, the uh, <laughs> uh, With enough time, you can... You can now that yeah. you know, it's kind of done. Uh, the, um, the magic item is a storm boomerang. Boomerang. A storm ring. Let's see. I will post that in chat, or a link to it. I don't want. I don't want to buy you. Interesting. Anything. Does lightning damage? I think. Thunder. Thunder. Where are you not? That could be good for you. Pasting. Forearms. Didn't realize this was the Thunderdome. Ooh. Very good. I. I did think about that, actually. <laughs> what? What? Before we even walked in, I was like, what if this is like a Thunderdome? Nah. Uh, and it I'll, was more than I even conceived. I will, I will send it. Uh, it's not working for some reason. For Cut and paste isn't working on my computer for some reason. Uh, oh. Well, I put a gif of Bola Young in chat instead. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right so okay. uh it is late so uh mm -hmm. we will pick up there next time uh but congratulations winners of the blood sport uh Whee! i also i did promise you a level indeed uh so you all can take a level but um thank you Tell me we got it from our dinosaur role play enough. Uh, uh, honestly, yeah, no. yes. <laughs> honestly, you you avoided the dinosaur fights very cleverly and funly. So yeah, I, no, you solving the encounter through yeah. not violence is still solving the encounter. Mm -hmm. You're damn right. Um, yeah. I forgot you would obviously yeah. have speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, <coughs> Uh, Being a druid has its advantages. Uh, sure uh, does. Outros and plugs, Timothy. Uh, I'm going to plug uh, speaking with animals. I think it's always a good idea. Um, every time I myself in my own life outside of D&D &D, have taken the time and effort to speak with an animal, it's worked out to my advantage and frankly to the animal's advantage. It promotes friendship and symbiosis and i think if most of us would just speak with the animals in our lives lives might be less difficult that is my message um uh you know be good um be happy if you live in georgia don't forget to vote coming up there's a runoff it's very important um keep the faith it's gonna be good it's gonna be okay guys happy holidays big love Uh, Cece. Uh, hi, I'm Cece, aka Soup, aka Soup, on the Twitters and the Instagrams. 
Um, and yeah, I just want to say, uh, I hope everybody has a great holiday. Um, and I'm very thankful for my friends to play D&D with, so. <laughs> Uh, and Marty. Uh, first off, I want to thank everybody uh, for listening when we told everybody to vote last time uh, four in a row uh, consecutively. We obviously turned a lot of uh, races around. And um, and it's because of you guys. It's because of you. It's because of the fans. Um, and yeah, I'd like to... Uh, Cece took mine. I was going to wish you a happy holidays, but I guess that's done. So... Yep. Nobody right. can. No. Nobody can do it after I have. That's Those right. are the rules. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, and I'd like to thank Andy, who's being real weird right now in a in a gear I wasn't expecting this to be real weird right now. But I had a absolute ball, and that's what you want. Uh, if your players are having a ball, you're not doing it wrong. Uh, period. Bar none. Don't believe the internet. Um, and I was having a ball, so. You're doing it right, bud. Excellent work. I'm proud of you. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I Presumably you had a happy Thanksgiving by now, uh, outside of Liz, uh, who can have a ha happy Thanksgiving uh, yes. tomorrow. That's right. Uh, thank you all. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Uh, a, a safe and uh, wonderful uh, long weekend for all of you. Uh, um vote uh go to your local library we started saying that at the end of gracefall and i like it you go to your local library they're great um what else I, it's pretty much it uh dragon lords will be this weekend i won't be there so somebody else will be in charge of kiros his name rhymes with esther and oh, sucks no. <laughs> it is esther <laughs> Isn't that just is that the name? rule? Yes. Is that the rule when you can't make it? Esther's in charge. Yeah, we've avoided mm. it mostly. Sorry, blame my mom. Oh, uh, he gets what like an hour of control. I think now? he has an hour. Yeah. So. Well, don't worry. He's only murdered me once, so it's fine. It's. Fine. I offered to kill myself for you. What, what, Actually, what else? He's killed me twice, I think, because he killed right. my parents and me canonically. Isn't the first an time hour too. of control a hundred rounds of combat? Yep. I think you guys can take look. His it's men, a raid at that point. As long as he doesn't <laughs> corner Umi and go first in initiative, you guys have a chance. Target his mental stats. He's not going to make any of them. Yo, yeah. That's true. Good thing I've leaned Liz, into the fighter. Liz int <laughs> I, charisma. Take, I, I have I have mental stat uh, attacks. It, yeah, I'll take care of it. And he's a terrible faker. On, I mean, we're going to know when he's in charge, right? It's not like he takes us out. On um, initiative? Yeah. Because, <laughs> man, I rolled really high. No, if yeah, I went, no. I... If I went once before you, I could have just beat the shit out of your whiz all day. And I would have just used it to kite you into killing me, at least in front of the fates, where that would have counted. Anyway, I'm not still mad about it or sad about it. It's, it's not my it's fault. Fine. I didn't like to. I, I had to roll the dice. That wasn't fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, this feels like a real. What was I saying? Uh, I love all of you. Thank you all very D &D much screen. for playing D&D <laughs> allegedly with us. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, Dragon Lords on Sunday. Grace Fall mm -hmm. is back on Wednesday, and we'll be back in a couple weeks. Um, thank you all so much. Have a great night and a great holiday. Bye. Oh, I won't be silenced. So forth and su such with, and goodbye. You sound so convincing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>